Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be reacting to The Real. Now, this video is called Intruder, and this uh, series is a bit shorter, so let's just dive straight in. Okay, we have... Like, security cameras. Ooh. I don't like the banging. These are placed in some very, uh... Odd spots. Really, really strange spots for cameras to be set up in. Are we gonna see something? Or are we just looking through cameras? Ooh, there's walking. Oh, well, we got what well, sounds like somebody coming up the stairs, I think. Ooh, the music, what the fuck? What's with the music now? For the sound bite. This is a national alert. All citizens are required to remain vigilant due to the escape of an extremely dangerous entity. The government mandates the following preventative actions, failure to comply uh, with which may result in imprisonment or imminent due to uh, imminent biological risks. Cancel any public funerals, remove all mannequins from commercial stores, burn any photographs that includes human beings, remove all mirrors from homes, buildings, hospitals, commercial uh, establishments, etc. I wonder why this is... Something... This is strange. Cause why would we remove all mannequins? You know? What? What? I guess we'll find out. Also, why would we burn all, uh... Burn all photographs with humans in it? Every individual must carry a visible document of identification at all times, both outside and inside home. What? This is strange. What? Is it something that can mimic us or something? What? Was there something in the static there? Ooh, Dr. Andrew Becker. We have been monitoring an entity for the past two months. We have enclosed it in a four meter thick concrete container and monitoring, mon monitoring it with an, ex an internal camera. There's some like SCP type shit. The entity appears to be motionless, although we have found it in two different positions when not under observation. This is extremely bizarre, but despite lacking facial features, it seems to interact with the camera. Lacking facial features? Like a... Like a... Okay, like a mannequin. It is a mannequin. Well, that, that explains why we gotta remove all the mannequins from the store. The following photographs were taken using different spectrums of light and revealed a strange face after a transformation that lasted almost 106 hours. wonder how much that is in days. Give me a second. Okay, so that many, uh, that many hours to days is 4.416667 days. Interesting. What an odd. Uh, okay, picture number one. And pic picture number two. Looks like a normal face, but it's kind of disturbing how that that turned into that. I don't like that. 
at all. Dr. Andrew Becker, again. The entity remains always silent, however, some laboratory workers reported feeling that the figure spoke directly to them through the screens. Strange. HR and SD, the two permanent camera monitors, had to be hospitalized in critical condition after three weeks. I wonder why. I don't like that. I don't like the fact. A strange infection and enormous tumors rapidly spread across their face. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, please don't show it. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, I hate that a lot. Ooh. What the hell? Discover of the real. Se manifeste qu'il n'est tout de même strictement inséré. Jacques Lacan, éminent psychiatre français, a mené tout au long de sa vie une enquête en ontologie, la linguistique et la psyché des vérités de la réalité. Sa théorie la plus célèbre, celle des most famous theory that of the three register processes and Radical dimension of existence. Trois registres propose une dimension radicale de l'existence à laquelle nous that we can only access indirectly through a traumatic encounter with the impossible. Nous pouvons accéder directement seulement à travers une rencontre traumatisante avec l'impossible. Ce réel. The this real is a structure elusive to the mind where existence is shaped. Elle est une structure insaisissable par l'esprit où l'existence se configure selon des paramètres défiant la compréhension. By parameters that, that defy, uh, by parameters that defy understanding. L'homme, dans son intérêt. Man, in his infinite interest to go beyond himself, could accidentally create. Intérêt infini à aller au-delà de lui-même pourrait accidentellement créer une brèche catastrophique. A, a catastrophic breath, breach, breath, breach, if he attempted to access the real. Fix, il tentait d'accéder au réel. Dans le réel, il n'y a pas d'identité. In the real, there is no identity, no figures. Et pas de figure, seulement... Only horror and uncertainty. Dans l'horreur et l'incertitude. Okay, whatever the fuck that was. Oh, well, we got, like, police sirens, and we're back to the house. We didn't see anything this time, because last time we only heard noises. I ain't seen much so far. Ugh, I don't like the sirens, though. Oh, god damn it! The flash got me. Don't have- don't you do okay. I can't believe that fool, what the fuck? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> That's just clothes. Whoa, 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 I hate that. Ooh, I don't like that at all. <gasps> what the hell? Okay, this is... Uh, research. Now, uh, the, the last frame, the last few frames on that, uh, the, the last video really unnerved me. This is also the longest video of them all. There's, so, let's just dive in. This is an instructional video intended for proper qualified personnel in the future. Study, safeguarding, and storage of entities and synopsis, the public scientific disclosure of which would constitute a fairing apart of a fabric of civilization. Tape number one. The everyday reality. Everyday reality refers to the objective and tangible existence of the world around us, independent of our individual perceptions and beliefs. Hell yeah, this music. It encompasses all the events, objects, phenomena, and processes that make up the universe, including both the observable and the unobservable. Ooh. Reality is characterized by its capacity to directly influence and impact our lives, 
and it can be studied and shared influence in disciplines such as physics, biology, psychology, and philosophy. While our interpretations and understandings of reality may vary, this is a tree. Reality itself is considered a fundamental and objective concept. This that could be anything. Our individual perceptions. An octopus, a monster. Oh, okay. Tape, tape to what? What the fuck was that? Oh god, here we go again. Dans la théorie de Jacques Lacan, in his theory, the con the concept of the reality does not le concept du réel ne se réfère pas sim simply refer to the physical or material, but rather to a dimension of physique ou matériel. Mais plutôt à une dimension de l'expérience. Experience that is fundamentally inaccessible and disturbing. Et fondamentalement inaccessible et perturbante. Il ne peut être pleinement capturé par le langage. It cannot be fully captured by language or the men mental. Langage ou les représentations mentales que nous construisons pour donner un sens au monde. Pour l'auteur français. For the French author, everyday reality is meditated by language and symbols that we used to represent it. This symbolic meditation creates a subjective experience of reality that is shaped by our beliefs And, indiv and, and individual fantasies. Par nos croyances, nos préjugés et nos fantasmes individuels. Le réel, quant à lui, the real, on the other hand, introduces introduce into our lives in ways that confront de à nous au us with the lack of correspondence between our representations and direct experiences or experience it is that which sustains the apparatus of existence in itself the real manifests itself through the inexplainable l'appareil même de l'existence le réel se manifeste à travers l'inexplicable l'incompréhensible what the hell et c'est une force perturbatrice qui I think I missed something there. The, incon the incomprehensible and the traumatic and the traumatic and it is a disruptive force that disturbs our illusions of control and mis uh, mastery over the world. Sorry about that. Okay, that at least that's done for now. Tape number three. What then exists in the reality? Or real, sorry, I keep on calling it the reality. <laughs> to understand what exists in this realm called the real, it is necessary to engage in the highest exercise of mental abstraction. While the real can be perceived through the senses and manifested in concrete objects, this is merely an imaginary way of being processed by the human mind, derived from what can be seen as an image. Due to the physical limitations of the organism and the tendency towards the survival of subjective psychic experience, these phenomena present themselves through a collective and individual imaginary. These supposed entities fracture existence and create an unassailable gap. These are they couldn't be anything else. Experiences or failures in the known reality. Warning: Phenomena of the real may be collectively perceived as everyday objects. However, despite certain reports, real photograph of a wooden cube. Although many people may see the exact same thing, certain digital devices would interpret them. Drawing of what a child claimed to see instead of the same wooden cube. What the fuck? And 
Some individuals would apprehend them with forms and characteristics that differ from those commonly Photograph of the same cube taken in a laboratory. What the hell? It's a fucking sphere now. Describe. With some shit inside of it. Personnel are advised to carry a unique identification document at all times. It's mandatory. The real could even be interpreted by the mind in the form of a friend. This person probably exists. A child this person, person also probably exists. But this person probably doesn't exist. The identification card is not foolproof. It has reported an effectiveness of 28% compared to... Identifying oneself through legal documents reduces the probability of encountering a real by 28%. To other methods that have failed outright. It appears that the real primarily manifests in the human mind through organic entities. Rare this woman has also been described like this by other people. What the fuck? Been reported. However, the latter have exhibited the most volatile, dangerous, and risky characteristics for maintaining the stability of reality. Okay, I guess we're moving on to tip number four. The real testing. Huh. This is a test that should only be undergone, undergone by authorized and properly trained personnel. Possession of this material outside scientific military supervision risks federal prosecution. Next, practice personnel will be shown a photograph of an entity phenomenon, which has been concluded with 89% certainty to be real. The following image was captured after a fire and explosion at Plastic Factory in Ohio in 1978, where 14 people were fatally injured, and 10 others suffered irreversible lifelong consequences. Personnel are advised to observe the material under the following mandatory conditions. Failure to comply will result in capture and permanent quarantine at the study center facilities. Close doors and windows. Okay. Do not observe it between 5 p.m. and 11 p.m. A 70% occurrence of unpredictable effects has been reported during this time range. This is strange. Do not be in the company of another human, as the real could take the form of your counterpart and transform them into a doppelganger. If you have been diagnosed with an psychotic disorder such as schizophrenia, schizophreniform disorder, major depression, or any type of personality disorder, the probability of experiencing a panic crisis or paranoid crisis has been reported at 45% compared to other mental disorders. This seems ser really serious. Anything, do not take your eyes off the image. The real could be in your visual apparatus, affecting an object or physical phenomenon in your surroundings. When the image is removed, close your eyes for 40 seconds. How are you? We all better do this. I don't know why I'm being very quiet. This is really making me tense. Results? 35% of people claim to have seen nothing. 21% of people claim to have seen a chair like this. 18% of people claim to have heard a voice inside their head. The 10% of people claim to have seen nothing behind the mirror, but they felt... Ter uh... Ter ter yeah, I ter ter yeah, okay. I can't speak today. 9% of people claim to have seen something like this... Drawing...
I hate it. 7% of people were never seen again. Whoa. Alright, so this is the last one for now, called First Contact. Tape number 5, so we're continuing with the tapes. The white, the white mannequin, the most, the, the most dangerous entity reported to date, 1989. Dr. Alexander. Head of the Department of Anomalous Reality Investigation Cases Regarding the white mannequin It happened in Toronto in 1988. The workers of a renowned clothing store called Salvatore Boutique in the city's downtown area reported that, for several weeks, they found a series of mannequins in different positions inside the store. The security cameras captured this, showing these figures in places where they shouldn't be. Okay, I don't like that at all. I hate that one. A few weeks after these curious occurrences, the death of of three individuals was reported. Sorry about two that. female employees of the clothing store and a passerby. This all happened on the night of June 10th. The footage of their deaths was captured by internal and external security cameras. Apparently, what the fuck? A figure with strange arms suddenly emerged from some of the- That's more than strange. The store's mannequins and attacked the two women. Hello, inside. what the fuck? A man who happened to be passing by also suffered a fatal fate. The police prohibited the disclosure of the audiovisual material. Three weeks later, after an apparent calm in the activity of the mannequins, this image forced the permanent closure of the clothing store. I don't After like this. Later, the American Security Department requested the intervention of the Canadian government for the study of these mannequins. The team from the Department of Anomalous Reality Investigation Cases selected two of their top doctors to initiate the study of these strange creatures. They were kept in a laboratory one kilometer deep, in a specially contained room for observation purposes for several days. The examination of this mannequin revealed a series of issues, as despite the images showing the presence I of hate that. material inside it, as well as relatively oh, human I hate all of that. issue. Oh, I don't like it. Some members of the medical team were emphatic <coughs> in stating that they never saw what the images recorded. They claimed to have only examined an ordinary mannequin made of wood and metal, which they disassembled and found nothing unusual. Oh, 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 oh I don't like it at all. Oh, I hate this. What the fuck? Oh, oh, I don't like it at all. Oh, it's making me uncomfortable. Oh, stop showing these, please. Holy shit. I, oh, I don't like them. I really do not like these. Thank you. This event led the department to conduct an exhaustive study of the nature of this entity, as well as all others that exhibited similar characteristics. Oh, I did not like any of those goddamn photos at all. Tape number six. The interview. Next, we will possess, present experts from a transcription of interviews conducted with three prisoners sen sentenced to life imprisonment why why are we doing this now their names were the letter was the latter was the one who provided the most relevant testimony for the investigation
I don't know, man. I've told you like three, four times already. I saw the damn thing move on the table during lunchtime. What the hell did you expect me to do? I know nobody gives a damn about my life or anyone else's in this goddamn world, but nobody wants to die like that. The thing could have been, have even attacked me. No, it wasn't just a damn chair. What the hell are you telling me? I, s I saw how he tried to escape it, even told me the plan. I'm not stupid enough to fall for that crap, especially after seeing what you guys did to him. In the cell with those black hoodie men. Hoodied men. No? Then who the hell else could it be? He didn't die? Are you crazy? I saw him this morning. You think I'm a liar? What more do you need from me? A snitch. <coughs> there was four of us. You already know the names. The idiot was munching on a piece of human intestine and nobody said a damn thing. I don't know where he got it from. I don't think he killed anyone. I don't think he's one of those. What do you call them? Oh, yeah, cannibals. No, he wasn't eating an apple, man. I'm telling you. He had a piece of meat in his hand. I wasn't about to start a fight over such stupidity. You guys have surveillance cameras. I know what I saw. The other idiots must have conspired to get me locked up in isolation. So this is all the whole thing with the reel where you can perceive perceive something that's not really there or see something that's not what okay uh, this was really What the hell? Oh okay, well Well, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, one last thing before I do end the video is here's some fan art I have had uh, somebody made for me. Right here. And other than that, I like this. It was This was good without having any jump scares in it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.